Hello and welcome to the News in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Training and Education Development, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, chaired a meeting regarding equating certificates obtained from China. His Highness discussed the view of the National Committee for Evaluation and looked into its procedures regarding scientific qualifications. He also was briefed by the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health, the Minister of Education, the Minister of Labour and Social Development and the Minister of Health regarding the opinions of the bodies concerned with scientific medical and training qualifications in the Kingdom. The committee also discussed the equating of medical certificates obtained from China. His Highness then discussed the proposals regarding addressing the conditions of medical major graduates in some Chinese higher education institutions and take the appropriate decisions. He directed the work team to discuss options from the technical aspects and raise them at the next meeting. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mubar Mohammed Al Khalifa, today received a telephone call from the Russian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sergei Lavrov. They reviewed the course of the distinguished relations between Bahrain and Russia and exchanged views on the most important issues on regional and international issues. Lavrov emphasised the depth of the existing friendly relations between the two countries and the progress of coordination between them at all levels. Sheikh Khalid expressed his satisfaction with the development witnessed by the cooperation between the two friendly countries, which have a common desire to strengthen their friendship in a way that supports common interests, noting the vital role played by Russia in preserving regional and international security and stability. Under the patronage of the President of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr Abdul Hussein Mirza, the AI, FinTech and VAT events were held under the theme The Second Digital Transformation, in the presence of a number of officials and more than 300 participants from inside and outside Bahrain. This event is held in partnership with the UAE-based Smart SMB. Dr Murray has stressed the importance of such conferences in achieving the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 through speeding up the digital transformation. He added that following the royal speech of His Majesty the King, Bahrain has been more involved in this regard in addition to coping with modern technology. The chairman of the conference, Dr. Jasmine Bahaji, expressed thanks and appreciation to Dr. Mirza for his continuous support and encouragement. He stressed the importance of holding such events in the kingdom in order to enhance its status globally. He discussed the contents of the conference and praised the role of women in artificial intelligence, as well as highlighting the benefits of this conference and its advantages for the kingdom of Bahrain. Upon the directive of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Oman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, inspected Block 814 of the Second Constituency in the Southern Governorate and Block 721 of the Seventh Constituency in the Capital Governorate in the presence of a number of Representatives Council and Municipal Council members from the two constituencies. The Minister of Works urged those concerned at the Ministry to speed up the implementation of the comprehensive sports project of building a football field with its facilities in Block 721 in accordance with the Ministry of Youth and Sports field standards while inspecting the block's rural condition and directing them to maintain them according to the schedule. Following the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to distribute 5,000 housing units, the Ministry of Housing announced the completion of the unit's distribution in Al Jalez neighbourhood, part of the East Hid housing project. The Ministry's Under Secretary for Policies and Housing Service, Khalid Al Haidan, praised the speed of completing the project and the provision of housing services. He added that the Ministry will soon hand over the units to the beneficiaries. The STC Winter Wonderland is now open until the 22nd of February with a variety of theme park rides, carnival games, local vendors, musical performances and live entertainment. The event aims to provide a unique experience for the whole family. More in this report. The STC Winter Wonderland, a month-long festival, held a special launch event which was attended by the STC Bahrain Chief Executive along with other senior officials as well as a number of popular social media personalities. What we are trying to do that we are trying to give something small as a return back to the greatness of Bahrain. And this definitely it's an obligation on us. 
as you know, we just changed our brand at the end of 2019 and our new logo and our new name, which is SCC in Bahrain. And this is just a small thing that we want to contribute to this beautiful country that we feel proud that we are part of the leadership that the company is in, the, the country is enjoy here in Bahrain. And we are trying to give them back a small thing to the community. The festival, which will run until the 22nd of February, also features theme park rides, carnival games, local vendors, food trucks, musical performances and live entertainment, including a massive outdoor ice rink, which is the star attraction. We need some uh, kind of activities for the whole family here. Uh, to just enjoy the weather to start with, it's just a perfect weather, and to have some fun. And uh, the good thing about it that uh, all ages can enjoy. So the kids from, like, let's say, four years until the adults, just like ourselves, we can enjoy it. I would like to thank STC to for this initiative. To be honest, it's something that we look forward to to have families together. Um, these kind of initiatives would actually are not only for the kids but also for us, for us to enjoy as well. The festival, which caters to families of all ages, expects a large turnout with at least 80,000 people from Bahrain and the GCC. It's a great place for kids, but obviously it's not only limited to kids. Um, there's a lot of rides here that I'm too scared to go on and a lot of vendors and food to eat and just chill with friends, honestly. Uh, it's really great over here. The weather is lovely. The games are for everyone. There's no certain age group. Uh, I would definitely recommend everyone to come over, whether you're old, young. Yeah, come with a friend, come with family. It's definitely engaging. The STC Winter Wonderland aims to revitalize tourism, restaurant and entertainment sectors by providing a unique experience filled with fun activities, further positioning the kingdom as a welcoming destination for families in the Gulf region. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef.